each other and they all have significance behind that. So the first is sort of maiden, uh, what you might say is the undergarment, uh, the Davidzion. The this is kind of like his under robe that he has. And this would have been, all of these clothing items would have been richly bejeweled, the pearls, uh, sapphire, emeralds. You can think this is an empire that has roots back to the ancient uh, Roman past. They've got a thousand years of wealth accumulation. They are by and far the richest society on earth at this point. And their clothing shows it. Here's kind of an example of what this embroidery might look like. But um, every dot you see on this coinage is representative of a jewel, of a sapphire, of a crystal, of a pearl. Uh, it, it would have been very, very expensive, very ornate and very flashy. And of course, this is to show I am the emperor of this great state. Therefore, I have all this wealth to show off. It kind of shows the emperor is an important individual. Uh, so this undergarment would have just been sort of what it says, a bejeweled clothing undergarment, different patterns. Um, let's get into more interesting items of clothing. So here we can see uh, you've got the emperor, uh, John III Vatatsi is right here, shown on a coin struck. And here's a line drawing of that. So you can kind of see the undergarment here and here would have been his Davidzion. There's actually a piece of cloth folded over his chest, kind of draped across and onto his arm. This is the Loros. Just so you get a better idea, I'm going to cut ahead to one slide. You can kind of see on this drawing of the emperor how this works. You've got a piece of cloth that goes around his chest and wraps up around his arm. You can see that on the coin sort of in his center area here. And what this is, it represents the emperor in his sort of religious state. It's a ceremonial piece of clothing that shows that he is a sort of an important religious figure in this society. Uh, like I said, it's wrapped around your chest and laid over your left, or left hand. It's pretty much the most important state clothing you can have. You might imagine a president for the State of the Union is gonna put on his best suit. This would kind of be for the most important dignitaries, for the most important holidays, the most important ceremonies, the emperor is going to wear his loros. And we see this, it's the most common on coin, and it's just to kind of demonstrate when the emperor puts this on a coin, he is saying, I am the high religious functionary dignitary in this land. I am important, I am wealthy, and I can intercess on behalf of God for my state and provide them protection. So kind of all those claims are being made when the emperor wears that. Uh, and then also you've got separate designs for men and women. Uh, just on a side note, the empress doesn't make very much of an appearance on coinage, mainly it's just the emperor but there is a wide variety of lead seals that exist. These would have been tied to communication and you'll find a lot of depictions of the female empress maybe wearing the loros or whatever else. So you won't see much of it on coinage, but there are depictions out there in lead, lead seals. And there was kind of that picture again. Uh, and so here's kind of the opposite side of that coin. This is the uh, chlamys. This is a clothing garment that represents the emperor in a secular role. Here is a military emperor, the emperor who is the head of the state who's going to protect his people through God's help, yes, but with a sword in hand. He is ready to fight and sort of declare that he is he is the emperor and he's got power and authority. This is seen less frequently on coinage, but you still see it quite a good bit. Um, and very famous.